wild times. By the way, so I saw a little news story that I thought was interesting. Yeah, let's do it. It has to do with global warming, but you okay. know, we're not going to get into that part. But the, the Earth's climate is in a warming phase, regardless yep. of how you think it, it got there. It doesn't matter if you believe it or not. It's true. As a result, dragonflies are having less sex and reproducing less. What, what would you guess the reason would be? There's a very specific reason. Hmm. It's too hot. Too hot. Nobody likes Dude, to have uncomfortable, hot, sweaty sex. They're too sweaty. That's, they're just like, I feel gross. My balls <laughs> smell bad. That's a good, that's a good guess. I'm going to say it's because dragonfly larvae are an aquatic species that live in like stagnant bodies of water and there's less puddles on the ground. Both good guesses, both equally good. Uh, <laughs> no, the reason is that the dragonflies are very quickly, each generation is having less and less of a, uh, of their colors are getting less dark, right? So they're getting duller oh, in their coloration so that they're, because mm -hmm. obviously black attracts more heat, right? And dark, yeah. dark colors yep. attract heat. Yep. And so they're getting, they're getting duller in their coloration so that they wow. are pulling in less heat. But the coloration is also flies. what attracts the mate. Interesting. Huh, how weird is that? Very interesting. That is yeah, weird. Global warming I wonder how is really many, fucking up the dragonfly. I mean, I wonder how many little things like that are going on that we don't know about. I saw another news story um, sort of similar to that. Did you see... I don't have it in front of me, so I'm, I'm going to misquote it, I'm sure. But did you see um, a recent study just published that elephants are losing their tusks because of poachers. So because poacher, and I don't mean because poachers are getting them, I mean that there's been so much poaching pressure on elephants with large tusks over the last hundred years that elephants are now starting to be born with little tiny nubs to no tusks, and they're not growing. So we have selected for weak, wow. shitty elephants to the point that the genetics are, and their evolution is speeding up for elephants to not have tusks because a tuskless elephant is, is valueless to a poacher. I saw that. I did see that one. That's uh, crazy. So that's, that's really quick evolution, right? A hundred years? Yeah, I mean, it's more like selective breeding than evolution, but I feel right. like elephants are so smart that it's a bit of both, right? So when I say it's selective breeding, we look at a herd of elephants, we kill the one with the biggest tusks, right? Well, you know his kids is, aren't going to have... He, he's not having kids, right? So he's not passing right. on the big tusk genetics. But elephants are also so smart that my... And I haven't actually read the article. I just saw the headline, but... My guess is elephants are so smart that they're seeing that, you know, Jimbo the elephant over there with the huge tusks is being chased by all the poachers. And so they're choosing not to reproduce with him because now he's a target and their children will be targets. So it's like a bit of both. It's like selective wow. yeah. breeding and like selective evolution it sped up at an alarming rate. What are you smiling about over there, Pat? Yeah, you look real happy. a little bit. <laughs> it's, it's not about elephants losing their tusks. Okay. No, I just I, I pulled up a list that I was going to go through later. Okay, <laughs> cool. Made me laugh. The, the dragonfly thing is pretty fucked up because dragonflies are, are didn't we talk about this? They're, they're basically one of the oldest things on the earth. No, they're the first, the first form of flight on the earth. The first form of flight. So yeah, we're right. talking millions and millions of years, right? Yeah, I, I would say what, hundreds of millions, I would think. I wonder what... I'm going to look this up. And now they're getting here. duller. Uh, but I wonder how many things like this they've been through over that hundreds of millions of years. Like, they had to have... I mean, have oh, they yeah. been in the same form from back then? Yeah, 300 million years ago. And they're, yep. they're pretty much the same as they were. Yep. Dude, that's wild. So they've obviously been through... I mean, dragonflies have been through cataclysmic events that wiped out dinosaurs, right? That wiped out... Uh, you know, almost every human on Earth, right? Stuff right, like yeah. that that's happened. God, I was thinking about that the other day, man. Like, because I was working on this project and I was writing some shit about the, um, about like the younger driest time period. It was basically just like a, a global cooling event where they think okay. like 85 to 90% of humans on Earth died over this period. It was like a mm. 50 to 100 year period. And, you know, everything just got nice. super cold and, a lot of yeah. people just died because it was too fucking that'll cold. That'll do it. Yep, um, that'll do it. But I was like, man, like, what a bummer. What a bummer that would be if, like, <laughs> we had to live through something like that. Like, it's Global it's color. there. Yeah. It can happen. They yeah. These events happen periodically. I mean, that was only 16,000 years ago, right? That's not millions of years. Oh, interesting. I mean, yeah, the thing is, we would survive it because we have the technology to get around global cooling. Um we don't 
we cannot survive global warming. Do you know what I mean? Because we can, in a sense, because global warming leads to the collapse of oxygen and the environment and everything else over enough time. I suppose global cooling, if it got cold enough, will also lead to a big collapse. But, um, you know, if it was just like a bad freeze for several years, we can still manufacture food indoors and we, you know, we have heating and like we, we wouldn't, we would survive it, unlike our ancestors who were living in caves that were just like, whoop, really cold out, nothing to hunt, you know, no firewood, it's all frozen, right. like, we gonna die. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, dude, like, these these ice ages, it's not just like 100 years, a couple hundred years. I mean, we're talking about ice age periods that last for two million years. Right, well, that part we <laughs> like, wouldn't ugh. do so well with, yes, no. Wild time. So if you want more behind the scenes stuff, stuff that we cannot show on YouTube, Darwin Awards, video breakdowns and reviews, check out the Patreon. It's full of hours and hours of incredible exclusive content, stuff that you guys are going to love. Swipe up, click the link, do the thing, come and hang out on Patreon. See you guys there.